rooms. I found myself in many rooms, rooms built for me, rooms recreated by me, from the ones built for me. To really know the room of my own would be to dismantle every brick, every sound, every syllable, every letter, to wash the word clean. A room of my own would be born of all the rooms I've lived and loved and smelt and felt. One wall would be padded, another paper thin sliding a long fault line. A third dust mortared book bricked, fortressed by incense and ashtrays, worn pictures and postcards ticket stub scraps, blue tacked in tarot webs. And the final wall, a wall of water where I swim on umbilical cord, phantom limb to reach you, to reach you, to endlessly reach you. Lung, breath, legs, kicking and screaming wailing wall. None of them though can or could contain the roomlessness of the heart in all of this. Fluid beating amphibian ghosts we see translucent the other sides of walls and doors locked sometimes by ourselves. We see the fibre fine that have woven the structures, wall streets, cold walls, border calls, cracked ceilings, stained floors, and laugh at those who cannot see our unweaving eyes. Nothing can hold sandbags washed away on siren call, flooding history, breaking levees. The sacred room we already carry, deep crevice, rolling pathways, velvet undertones, birthing chamber, breathing sphinx, resolute womb mind, Cellular build and rebuild and rebuild, shedding and shifting, palimpsestuous birthing and rebirthing. We live outside, always, and only visit your rooms on full lighted nights through opened windows or chance breezes uncontainable spaces, liminal soirees drench our stories in silk. We pen slippery words that dishevel walls, leveling the ground, ready for the pyre, rewriting anew in water, earth, air and fire.